All right, Tom. This is the game I chose for us to stream next. Take a look. Oh. It's the Japanese. Ah, ah, ah. It's the Japanese prototype oh. of the very first Zelda game. Okay. Hopefully this works, because I just spent far too long trying to wrestle with the, the program. The Hyrule Fantasy. Yep. So, we're going to be streaming some Zelda prototype here. Um, I don't know how much you know about this. I don't know anything. I don't know much about it either as far as the gameplay goes, but um, hopefully it will work at least. Let's uh, eject disk before select. Eject disk. Is it ejected? Switch this side. Insert disk. And we're in! Alright, but yes, this is a, um, a prototype of the original Zelda with um, real people on it. Let's murder one, <laughs> shall we? Did I break it? Oh boy. Oh wait, no I didn't. Just needed a second. Okay. Well, someone's mowing outside. Hope you guys are enjoying the beautiful the sounds of that. Summer time. Yep. Um, we'll just name our guy Link. We're so generic. Yeah, it is a little bit generic, but... Yeah, so this is a prototype of the original Zelda that was a, f a fair way in, uh, complete when uh, this build is fairly complete, but uh, it is different in some regards. Okay. And uh, so yeah, I actually have played Zelda on a actual Famicom disk system, but at the same time, the, the load times are still a bit disconcerting at first, you think it might, yeah. especially when I've been spending something like half an hour trying to figure out how to get the uh, uh, image, the, the FDS bio image to, to work correctly. So I don't know <laughs> what, what we're going to be seeing here, but this is actually a prototype of Zelda. The overworld is probably mostly the same. So this way to the first dungeon, right? No. Oh, well, we can go that way. Yeah, let's go that way. Up. I'm gonna be telling him what to do. Up. I have a pretty good idea, yeah. And then up and then over, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, the first dungeon I, I know pretty well. At least how to get there, anyway. But after that, I... I start to not know so much... The interesting thing is going to be if we're going to be able to tell the, d the difference between once a uh, localization change, you know, what was changed from the localization of Zelda yeah. and what is actually different between the prototype. Hey, guys, want to know a, a nifty turbo trick? <laughs> it's <laughs> if so you, turbo. If you exit the, uh, the tree here, wait for the loading time, it's... and hope your FDS doesn't break, and then re-enter the... Uh, okay. One second. One second. One second. The door will already be open. Yeah. That's an, another famous turbo trick from Mike N Games uh, here on Twitch. We're the best. I don't Maybe know what I'm going to do with these streams. I might try and destroy them <laughs> if, uh, if they're bad enough. That last one went pretty terribly. Yeah, it was the best. <laughs> And I am, I'm going to collect all the keys still, though, be, just because... Uh, we can use those keys in yep. other dungeons. Though. Which is a neat part about this game. And it, it gives it sort of more like a dungeon crawling looting aspect, almost. Because all doors are the same. <laughs> yeah, not, not the best design on uh, Ganon's part. Can you really blame the guy? Um... Maybe it's just me, but I'm pretty pretty positive the font's different than the uh, NES version. That, that's a, obviously a change just between the uh, languages, but yeah. I actually prefer this one uh, over the English mm -hmm. English text formatting. It just looks nicer for some reason. So yeah, I actually have played Zelda on a, a real disk system. Um, if you guys want to hear about the disk system, I can talk about it a little bit. The, the disk system's a really fun system to collect for, 
um, because the Famicom already is. But it is uh, kind of scary to to mess around with because like you've seen those black screens, right, Tom? Yeah. Those represent the loading times under this system. Like Zelda actually had loading times originally. Yeah. Um, but during that time, there's just this clanking sound of the disc. Yeah. You know, uh, doing its stuff, being read into memory, and it is. It just doesn't sound fun. It sounds like any second something could go terribly wrong and the whole entire rig could just catch on fire. And then there would be tears. And then there would be tears. Also, another thing that's sort of sad about the disc system is that um, out of probably any uh, home console games that I can think of anyway, it's going to be the quickest to go through bit rot, which basically means that, I don't know, 20 years from now maybe, um, your disc system games might not be playable anymore, maybe even sooner. Just because the data has literally like eroded away, yeah, through uh, just uh, a natural degradation of the uh, of the data. He's probably, probably saying oh. something like the dongles don't like smoke or something. Yes, I don't. Isn't that later? I don't know. Also, I think that was another one of those things that was just for the localization. Yeah. There's a really cool website, guys, that you could go to while you're watching our quality stream. It's uh, Legends of Localization. It's by this guy named uh, Tomato. And he's cool. He did the Mother 3 translation hmm. that you may or may not have played. I've played it. It is good. It is good. It's a quality uh, translation. Everybody should play Mother 3. Maybe we should stream that sometime. That is a good. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll keep that one in my uh, keep that one in my pocket Back for a while. Pocket. Yeah. Um. But any anyway, get the bombs. He's got a page called Le Legends of Localization. He's covered many a game, such as uh, Earthbound, such as this very Legend of Zelda, mm. such as the original Super Mario Brothers, which actually has a surprising amount of information on it, and it's uh, quite interesting the, not necessarily the changes that were made, because there's really not that many, oh wow, wow, because there weren't that really that many changes made to the actual game, Yeah. but the um, different ways that are, uh, that Japan re reacted to it, and uh, that America reacted to it, like Japan, well, while we were stuck on the minus world thing, right, Yeah. Japan was, <laughs> had, had this, uh, 256 world glitch. Yeah. You know, stuff with like the that. the tennis cartridge. Yeah, with the tennis cartridge and, or, and uh, Family Basic. Which is another interesting thing. Maybe we should... Maybe maybe I can learn uh, Fam Famicom Basic and we could program live. Oh. That'd be... That'd be interesting. interesting. Like, I'm not really sure the um, what all Family Basic can do. I don't have the cartridge myself. But I can program a little bit, sort of. So... Maybe I could figure it out. I spent a lot of time in basic, actually. If you look at the, uh, <clears throat> if you would direct your eyes towards the bottom right-hand corner, that is a character I made for a video game that I myself created. Mm. Pretty fascinating stuff, huh? Pretty talented. <laughs> I'm pretty great. <laughs> I don't know if you heard. Pretty lucky, it seems like right now. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, oh. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was that was all skill. Luck. Yeah, that was exactly what that Get was. The key. Wall master. So far, this dungeon looks exactly the same. same. Okay. His his unicorn horn. I really like this guy. I'm surprised that this is a character that they haven't reused in Zelda games since. Oh! Some people have like beaten this game without getting the sword. How? I I can't remember. I this is a th real thing though. Let's um, let's just wait. Continue. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I I'm I'm pretty positive. Like they do it by getting the bombs somehow, but I can't remember how they're able to get the bombs without the sword. Like the, no oh, swords, I think, or no, I think they end up getting the um. They just skip the first sword, mm. and then maybe they're able to get heart pieces. pieces. Yeah, it still doesn't really. Exp if, mm, 
I have to see what the deal is with that. You don't have to defeat all the enemies. <sighs> I know, I just... I gotta collect the rupee stone. Why are you going that way? Okay, I'm not looking at my map anymore. <laughs> I've turned off my targeting computer. No, you're supposed to go this way, I'm pretty sure. Stop! Uh, I'm gonna go right. So yeah, this first dungeon seems pretty much the same. But I know there are changes as we go on, especially to the last area, if I recall. Will we make it that far? Who I knows? Know. Maybe. Maybe this... <laughs> Not so lucky that time, now were we? Oh, man. Alright, let's just try and kill this guy. And I'm really bad at... Die, 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 die. Yes! <laughs> that was pathetic. I'm sorry. Was. That was a terrible display. Yes, but that's a character from um, uh, my game, Robot Attack. Yes. Maybe we'll stream that. Tom's a big <laughs> fan. Haven't you got somebody to update that character? Huh? Yeah. Um, my girlfriend made an updated version of it. Which you can see on the Michael the Gaming Sir... Wait, no, you can't. Where you can see that on the Pulse Wave Gaming website, which is my website. Uh, there's a lot of... I, I might have a link to that somewhere on this page eventually. Okay, let's go ahead and try something that... Go up to the right. Stop sighing like that. Oh, it's just that you're <laughs> not that good. <laughs> Stop. When we were younger, I beat A Link to the Past. I had to beat all the bosses for Tom because he was really terrible at beating <laughs> bosses. And I was really awesome at it. And I think it was always a point of contention. So one time he deleted my file on Link to the Past. <laughs> Link to the Past is actually the only Zelda game I think I've beaten. Okay, bomb that spot. You know the spot. Wait. <laughs> where's the where's the heart container? <laughs> uh, is it on this side? Just bomb the little rock. Shh. There it there is. You mean my heart? I feel bad for anyone who picked the potion. Like, like first time player, didn't yeah. know what it was. Yeah, I, I feel, I feel, I feel bad for you. We need six to be able to get the next sword, right? Or is it eight? I don't know. Oh, We're close. God. Go down. Yeah, I meant, no, I meant go to back be up. not that. I'm sorry. I admit to being not that good at Zelda. Well, maybe you could go down for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm good at Zelda games. Go down. Keep going down. Keep going down. Yeah. You might have to just yeah go. I've I've beaten Link to the Past. Oh, I've beaten Four Swords Adventures, which is a great Zelda game, even though. It gets a fair amount of criticism for being... For being different. For being different, yeah. <laughs> I beat Link's crossbow training. Mm -hmm. Everyone's favorite. It's my favorite. It's actually not that bad. Like, it's... It's pretty good for an on-rail shooter. It's my favorite, though. It's a pretty good on-rail shooter. It's better than a... Better than some series take on the genre, like... Okay. Rebel Assault. Now you have to go down. And to the left. Tom just keeps on like rubbing his face in shame. Like like he's disappointed in me. Hey Tom, you see those Zoras? How they look kind of different? <laughs> yes. That's a change. Okay. From the, uh, I believe from the Japanese to the English version. Okay. Do you feel educated now? Oh yeah, so educated. Oh man, these guys are aggressive. 
more bombs. We're gonna need them. Ow! You should know if the screen's blank that those guys are more than likely. I was actually them. wondering why why the screen was blank. Have these guys been in any recent Zelda games? Uh, probably. Like, I don't know. Okay, I believe. No, no. It's I know, I know. Bomb this area, right? Yeah. Jeez. I'm not that, I'm not that bad at this game. I know some stuff. Oh, that guy says something like Sugi. Something, something, something. Stop trying to read Japanese. Someday I'm gonna know enough characters where okay, I can. Okay, and then go back up. Where I can look like I know something. Go back up. Yeah, I think we have enough for the white sword. Yeah. Or that's it. Oh. <laughs> Either way, I think we're close to level two here. In this mm. area. I think it's this. I, it's probably over there. Want me to go there now? Why not? I'm, I don't remember exactly where level 2 is. I always have to wander around a bit. Yeah. One nice thing about the original Zelda manual is that it actually came with a, a map. I believe to get level to levels 1 and 2. And it was, it was pretty nice and colorful. Which is something you don't see from game manuals anymore. Any I, sort of color. I think it's to the left, maybe. This seems pretty complete. Seems like they... It's not over here. Never mind. Let's go up from the, the screen back there. Well, there's a ferry over here, though. If you go up. Alright, well, might as well do that real quick. I'm pretty sure it's a ferry, at least, yeah. Like, I don't know. For, you know, Tom's saying that he's so good at Zelda and stuff. Uh, like, yeah, I'm so good. He's not. He's really not. Like, always has to have a, a fairy bottle on him at all times. <laughs> That's smart playing. Which right no, it was it was actually it began off as a tactic so he could steal the TV for longer because it was always like okay if you die, then I get to play next, and then he'd just stock up on fairy bottles and never run out, <laughs> and I always hated him for it. Okay, let's go up from here, and I believe we're close. Don't get hit by rocks, by the way. <laughs> I did. I did it, just for you. Thanks. Okay, the waterfall holds the secret. No, no. <laughs> Take all my money. It's not a money-making game, is it? It's just like an advice thing. Yeah. For people who don't know how. Wait, to... Oh, we just oh, walk wait. Through the... Nope. Yeah. Wait, what? Where am I? Go up. Where's the? Hmm. There's another one that I know about that was like my favorite Zelda secret of all time. We'll have to pull that one off. Oh god. He's freaking out. Don't worry about him, just get in. I killed him. Good job. I did it. Alright. Let's see if we're worthy enough. We, we are. are. Yay, we get the white sword. Mm. And, like, if you don't know about the heart container spots, then that takes you a while to get. Yeah. And it's sort of an accomplishment, but over the years, people have developed, like, you know, faster and faster ways to... Whoa! Almost glitched through that rock face there. Ooh! Ooh! Get back. No. Hey, please. Stop! Stop! No! Oh. Wah, 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 wah. How do you get to the green wah. tree area, Tom? Green tree area? Yeah, there's a place that looks exactly like the first dungeon except for it's green. Do you not know that about that area? Oh, maybe I do. Uh, go to the right. It, I thought it was around this area, actually. You have to go right. It's like in the upper right-hand corner of the map. Mm -hmm. Let's go check that out real quick. Okay. Because that's probably my favorite Zelda secret of all time. Assuming it's still there. Who knows with this special prototype version. Wow. The screen's kind of... Kind of tough. <laughs> stop being... Stop losing. Sorry, I can't. Okay. Go up, maybe. Mm, I don't know if you wanted to go up or not. 
Go down. Then Is it over? Yeah, there. it's over there. Should have done that earlier, I guess. Oh, wow. So bad. This attacks me through the wall. All right, this is probably one of the. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, it's probably one of the coolest Zelda secrets of all time. Assuming I don't die, which I really, I could at this point probably. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Super cool. Gets get all the money. I mean, it is just money, but. It's pretty pretty satisfying to find that area. That's one of the really cool secrets that you can't really pull off in a modern game, because I don't think people would would buy it. You know, if you just walk through a, a computer generated rock face, rather than like a, like this cartoony aesthetic makes it work for some reason. I don't know. Just my opinion. I'm sure there are hints to get to that secret though. Yeah, but what I mean is like uh, like visually. Yeah. It works on an 8-bit thing, but as a, as like a 3D game, I don't think people would no. like that as much. All right, Dungeon Two, yeah. show me the way. I think it's down and try going left here. Yeah. Wow. All right. See, I'm good. You're apparently not. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't need this. Let's go check our our commenters. <laughs> wow, so many. Thanks. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the show. See, that's funny. Yes. No one's watching. watching. But you can watch these in our past broadcasts. <laughs> Alright, Dungeon 2. We keep them. Speedrun. I don't know if I'm even allowed to choose what stays and what goes. <laughs> so if these are really bad, they might be stuck forever. At least until the servers, like, um... No. Change or whatever. We've almost got enough for what we're saving our rubies for. At least I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna force Michael to buy stuff. Oh, <laughs> hurt by like the easiest enemy in the game. Mm. Oh. <sighs> Why? Because I hit be. Oh. So what do you guys think about Splatoon? <laughs> <laughs> Is that just? Oh my gosh! There's dead air. You gotta say something. You gotta say something. So, so what do you guys think of Splatoon? <laughs> that new game. Oh, I Tom hates Splatoon. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I like Turf War. I, I beat Tom at Splatoon one on one, which I actually um this it seems like a lot of people aren't too crazy about that mode. I really like it, and Tom hates the fact that I school him so hard at it. <laughs> it, it really frustrates him. Like you should see his face right now. So salty. He's very. Much Somebody salt. just dumped salt in my face, so I'm salty now. He, he, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it one bit. I don't like green eggs and ham. <laughs> Maybe like we'll it. stream that sometime. <laughs> uh, strangely enough, green eggs and ham is like my most popular Let's Play video. And like really, I don't do Let's Plays that much in the grand scheme of things. They're more of like a side project. Well, this dungeon looks... I don't know. I think it looks different. It might be. Maybe it's just me. I think this game's harder, that's why I'm not doing as well at it as I probably should be. Oh, nice excuse. <laughs> it's harder, guys. Trust me. For some reason, I thought that the um, guy who gave us the um, boomerang was blue. But I don't see no, blue guys. No, a blue guy gives you a better boomerang. Alright. Alright. Once again, shows how much I know, I guess. I'm no Zelda expert. Has I'm no expert in anything. Just how much I know, because I'm so great. Shh. Keep that up, Tom. <laughs> See I where will. it gets you. That will get me far. Do I need to kill these? You can if you want. Do they give me something? 
I don't know. I thought you were an expert. I am an expert in most stuff. Yeah. They probably give you some. Okay. So, Tom, best Zelda game. Go. I don't know. I'll link to the past, probably. Correct answer. <laughs> you, you did it. Yay. I get 10 points. There are two kinds of answers as to what the best Zelda game is. There's Link to the Past, Majora's and then the wrong Mask? answers. No, Majora's Mask. Okay, Majora's Mask is good. As far as 3D Zelda games go, oh, I found him. Oh, there's still more stuff to explore. Um, as far as 3D Zelda games go, I, it's a good game. It's really, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. I I I didn't buy into the hype. Oh, good job. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I didn't buy into the hype about it necessarily, but when I played it, I really, I really fell in love with the atmosphere of it, and uh, it, just the, the characters. It, it seemed to have like the most fleshed out story of any Zelda game, as far as like world building goes, I guess. And that's something I like. I like I like worlds that feel immersive. Uh, that's why I like Morrowind a lot, even though I don't actually play the main story. Yeah. I really just love. Um, the world of Morrowind. Go down. We haven't gotten stuff yet. Oh. Alright. But, uh, Majora's Mask is, it might be the best 3D Zelda game. But the best Zelda game? Mmm. Yeah. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. What do you think the best 3D Zelda game is, Tom? Mm, I like Twilight Princess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have my reasons for that, though. I'm starting a YouTube channel. Maybe, hopefully, who knows? I'm not. T I'm not gonna oh, say geez. anything until what it's is happened. this? You being bad at video games. That's what it is. Yeah, I guess so. You want me to take over for you? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't. I can win. Okay. I can't remember. Like, in the original Zelda, they don't re they don't respawn, do they? After the what? Do enemies respawn in the dungeon after you kill them? Kill them? Yeah. I don't remember. I seem to think that they didn't for some reason. These guys don't drop anything. All right. Attempt to Well the lag Tom. There's your blue boomerang. Okay, we got everything. Tom, it was the lag. Okay. So does this just go farther? Yeah, Whoa! It goes a lot farther. <laughs> I like that. That's that's fun. It literally goes across the whole length of the screen, doesn't it? I believe so. Wow. No. This guy didn't reappear. I think that was intended to be a mini boss. Oh. Maybe. Oh, oh okay. I don't know. I don't know anything. Okay, we're almost back to that one guy. Oh, so many. Rubies. Could you just call a Dodongo a one guy? Yes. It's like the, only the most recognizable <laughs> Zelda enemy of all time. Well, no, he isn't. When you compare Keen Dodongo to this Dodongo, I'm pretty sure it's quite different. Okay. He's like, I don't want any of that. I'm just gonna feed him the bombs. Okay. If you obviously. As probably all of you know, if you uh, blow it up just in his face and then stab him once he dies, yes, all of you know. Let's which... go. Let's go check on you guys <laughs> out in Video Land. Really, nobody. <laughs> um, we'll just reload the page. I'm sure that'll make everyone appear. Uh, 
I think somebody stopped by. Probably got instantly annoyed with you and then left. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty great. People can get pretty salty about me. Get salt. <laughs> I don't know if that really works. Back to the game. I don't know how far we're. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I, I was being murdered. Oh no! Okay, let's let's, let's go and buy a very cool item here. This lag—it's killing me. Good use of bombs there. <laughs> I thought my boomerang was out. Okay, go down. Left. That's gonna kill these guys. Left. Yeah. Keep going left. Go down, I think. Ooh. <laughs> Down and left some more. Just... Hey Tom, notice how we weren't able to get more than 255 rupees? Yeah, that's why I'm saying we should spend some now. Interesting, huh? That's a quirk of the NES. Yeah, I know. Yet another turbo tip for all you people mm -hmm. out there. We have two extra keys now. We must have not visited some place in the... Second dungeon or something. I wonder how we got that. Oh, wow. Well. Hmm. We're gonna go ahead and put a ring on Link. Which one? Oh. The blue, blue thing? Yeah. Blue. Blue thing. It's not there. Oh. Yeah, if you guys see me doing stupid things that, like, any Zelda lover would know about, it's because I don't actually know that much about Zelda. <laughs> yes, I know a lot about a lot of games. I, I play more, um, I play, oh. I, I play greater games than this. Greater games. Greater games, games that are greater than this. Mm -hmm. You just heard. That are more better. You just made us go into negative views. <laughs> It's not like <laughs> it go right and up. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know if you knew th knew this, Tom. But it's not for, in there either. But for a while, I I attained the third place world record for versus Super Mario Brothers. Oh, congratulations! Pretty great, huh? No. I actually my score beat the score. Of famous uh, video game it's in there. guy Brian K. Oh. You might remember him from the classic film King of Khan: A Fistful of Quarters, oh. where he was like Billy Mitchell's sidekick, who who went around with him everywhere. Yeah, I didn't really like Billy Mitchell, so. Yeah, I know, but I beat his score, Tom. Oh. I scored over a million points on that game, which used to be like kind of a feat, but now I think. Uh, Three million or something. It's like the new thing. So, I was always more into Mario. Okay, good. I think third dungeon is over left, and then down. And then it's like down some more. I was always more and into Mario like than Tom was. Right? Maybe. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That sounds right to me. Tom was like into Pokemon and RPGs, growing up, and I was like. Platformers. I was really good at platformers. I was really good at platformers, and I was really good at Smash Brothers. That's why Tom would never play platformers or Smash Brothers. Because anything I'm good at, Tom refuses to play. That's why he won't play Splatoon anymore. <laughs> I'll play Turf War with other people. See, you see, this is the thing. <laughs> he just refuses to be worse than me. 
And I mean, some people say that that's because I'm really mean when I win, <laughs> but I don't see it. All right. And oh, Jill. this isn't the uh, this isn't the darkened one, is no, it? No, it's not. That's the next. So that's the next one. All right. There's some areas very similar to this in that dungeon, from what I recall. Ah! It's got the weird bat things. Ooh. All right. Pro plays right there. Pro <laughs> plays. MLG, Legend of Zelda. Speed running like Zelda games is so interesting sometimes. Yeah, it is. Like I was watching a stream of Majora's Mask, and I thought, oh, yeah. it's it's crazy what the people do. It just, has to be, like, any percent, though. Well, like, think about how they discover that stuff, too. Yeah. Like, that's some of the, you know, biggest things. Because I imagine that it, it probably works like just about anything, right? Where someone discovers it, and then it's people, you know, actually applying that knowledge to be able to create the, the fastest speed runs. Yeah. A lot of ingenuity and, um... Do you have to beat these guys? No. All right. A lot of ingenuity on all parties. Those ropes used to be green, but since we have the 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 blue ring, they're white. I actually never knew that it was the ring that changed the color, because I play like I I just kept on playing as Green Link, um, on the NES version. I actually haven't beaten this game, but I was able to get up to Magic Sword, and I gave up because like Dungeon Six or Seven is really hard. I can't remember which one. The one with the whiz robes. Whiz robes. I think that's Dungeon 6. I hate it. It's the worst. Um, but I gave up because I kept on dying. And I always wondered, like, if it was that dungeon where you get the, the you know, uh, silver clothes or whatever. Because in Link to the Past, the Zelda game, that, like, the only Zelda game I've really played yeah. and really enjoy. Um, that one... Oh, I guess I've beaten Link Between Worlds as well. Yeah. Which is... Link to the Past sequel. And it's also really good, though. Not as good. Um, we still don't have the map. I know. I'm just, just walking around. Okay. Calm down. I, I am calm. Is this Swastika Dungeon? I think so. Um, I'm surprised that that... Just, just knowing how America is... How, that the... Uh, the Zelda didn't come under fire for having a dungeon that is shaped like a swastika. But hey, did you know that it's actually not a swastika at all? What is it then? It's a manji. Manji is a symbol for a hawk in Japanese. Mm. Pretty interesting turbo fact, huh? Yeah. What is this dungeon called the Hawk's Eye then? Hawk's, hawk, hawk's Eye? I don't know. This, this is... I was just saying something. Is that a... Is that a power player tip, Tom? Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> the closer I can make this uh, stream to like a public access show, <laughs> the happier I will be. Okay. Just we didn't need the map anyways. Okay, wait. We're, we're pretty... There it is. Okay. I was going to say, I actually kind of wanted to get it. Yep, this is... This is that dungeon. Ah! Giving it to us near the end of the dungeon. Uh, you have to beat these guys, though, right? Yeah, you have to. If you want to get any further in the dungeon, yeah. Dark nuts. Yeah. These guys... They're nuts. <laughs> wow, these guys are nuts. Yeah, we're not very <laughs> funny. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I, I really think that um, attempting to be funny isn't our strong suit. So maybe we should just resort to, to giving them, like, helpful <laughs> advice or, like, um, I don't know, facts, facts and tips. Did, Did you know that flamingos aren't naturally pink? Yes. That they get it from eating shrimp? I did. Are, are you <laughs> excited by that? Oh. So excited. Oh, God. Just 
Bomb it. This sends a piranha plant. Did you know that? Just bomb it. One second. I want to beat it with my sword. He's going to die. Okay, fine. <laughs> Whatever. You should have bombed it when it had all of its heads. What's that? Would you like to say that a little bit louder? <laughs> no, thanks. Wow, I'm, we're, we're tearing through this game, actually. Three pieces already. Let's go check a uh, stream, see what comments we've gotten. Nothing. Beautiful. I've been trying to post this all over the place. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I should send an alert out to uh, YouTube for fans. I gotta admit, though, like, it's kind of fun to stream a game like this. Yeah. Ugh. A little bit... A little bit tiring, but... Why do I do this? Do I put it in discussion? Check. <laughs> Check out to stream of Zelda post I don't know who's gonna see that I thought there was a way where I could uh, I don't actually know anything about YouTube seeing that I don't have a YouTube channel post directly to yet. the thing am I getting murdered again probably yeah okay Killed him. Let me let me let me see if there's a way I can um, get this message out. Doesn't appear to be. That's um, really disappointing. All right. Oh well. Anyone see that Nintendo Direct? Oh. Pretty crazy, huh? I just want to murder that guy. Bill Trennan. Yeah. Bill Bill Trennan has been a. Uh, a part of the Nintendo family for a, a long time now, you know. He, oh yeah. I I recall there was some like stuff with him uh, actually referencing back earlier to, to Tomato, um, talking about like not releasing Mother Three's localization and stuff. Yeah. Like they got like an anonymous email right before the release, and Bill, they assume it was Bill Trent anyway, was saying like. Don't do this. They might never release Mother 3 then. But, like, I mean, like, at that point, the work was already done for one thing. So I think it would have been silly not to. But but more so, like, Nintendo's never going to release Mother 3. You know? It's, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Like, as much as I want it to, and I really want it to. We need to get the candles now. Alright. I can get that, right? The blue one? You need a bit more money, like... Uh... I thought it was 60 I th I'm pretty sure it's 80. We've got enough. Alright. It's over this way. It might be 60, but we'll have 80 just in case. Oh, I got the mouse cursor in the frame again. Sorry. Shame on you. Yeah. It ha -ha. was 60. Oh, no. He's, he's, he's got a blue ring now, too. I was wrong. Ugh. I was wrong. No scening on the stream. I'm the only one that's allowed to see. Right, here we go. This is another really cool thing that, like, especially the first Zelda game when I was playing this for the first time. One of my many, you know, attempts. And this I, was a harder dungeon when we were first playing. I mean, like, well, just even discovering it was sort yeah. of like a mystery type thing. I don't know. Still not seeing the the big differences yet, though. I'm glad that we are playing this. I'm glad that I got the uh, bio bios thing working. Yeah. Ah, uh, these guys are my favorites. Actually, I'm gonna see something real quick. Oh. I wonder if I've been like actually showing my Facebook and stuff this whole time, like a moron. So I'm gonna try something. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so the mouse cursor shows up. Well, maybe. 
I'm really not sure how it works. I guess the mouse cursor can show up, but the video, the uh, other tabs I have open can't. I'm really new at the streaming thing. Not really used to it yet, but. I remember also thinking when I was younger that these guys were Ganon. Or like little Ganon minion type characters. Yeah. Because uh, of Link to the Past, how he had those fire bats. Yeah. And I, I don't know, I just sort of made the connection. Is this one? A rainbow connection? No. What? I don't know. Um, just like in childhood when you when you uh, you know when you assume things yeah a little too much but it sort of creates its own you create your own lore your own story for a lot of this stuff yeah that's do I need to kill him yeah. that area was pretty easy got three keys so what about that amiibo tap So it's not Splatoon. It's anymore. not just Splatoon. No, like, like seriously. I, I've heard some, uh... No, but seriously. I've heard some criticism of it for being maybe a little... I don't know. Light on gameplay? What do you or? think about the Chibi Robo Amiibo? Well, we're just gonna ignore my Amiibo tap yep, thing? Oh. we are. <laughs> okay. I think it's I think the Chibi to... Robo Amiibo is really cute. I think it's going to be a worth a thousand dollars. No. <laughs> it's going to be worth more it's, mm, than the normal. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Like, the way that... What will determine the value of that of the Chibi Robo Amiibo would be... Well, there's, let's think about the factors which contribute to Rare Amiibo, right? Availability. Um, how many they actually physically make. I mean, that's really affected... Lucina and Robin, I think. Yeah. Um, exclusivity. They're making the some chibi ro the chibi robo amiibo almost seems like it really incorporates into the game. Maybe I don't know. Well, I don't know enough about the game. This is what I'm I'm thinking because like it depends on if this game gets a wide wide release or not. I mean most games do. Right? Yeah. Um, I can only think of a few, like, Xenoblade that were sort of exclusive stuff. But I don't know. It, it depends on how many copies are sent out, how easy it is to get. Um, if, like, look at the Mario Amiibo, right? Like, um, the Super Mario series one? Yeah. That one's pretty common now yeah. because it came packed with uh, Mario Party 10. I thought this amiibo was going to be like an exclusive to the packaging, and I'm assuming they're gonna release. You think they're gonna release a standard version too? The standard game, yeah. I the, I, I don't know if they're gonna do that. I think I think we might see a complete package. Now, what I would want them to do, they won't do it. But what I'd want them to do is package since this is a 3DS title. Um, have yeah. it come package with the NFC uh, reader. For yeah. non-new 3DS owners. I am a non-new 3DS owner, by the way. The new 3DS, I really like it. I think it's pretty good. I uh, really don't care for it. Well, these guys respond instantly. Because it really only has one new game for it. And yeah, I mean... It's, it's it's not got the software I need. I've, I mean, if... Nintendo decides, oh, we'll make, uh, uh, I don't know. Mother 3. <laughs> Mother 3 for the <laughs> Nintendo 3DS exclusively. They could call it Mother 3DS. And the, it, it'd be actually the 64 version. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. You know, it'd be inter- Oh. Those things are like That's right, James. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't know. But I don't think the Chibi Robo Amiibo is going to be that rare. I think that maybe people will demand a lot of money for it, but I don't think it'll be rare. Which is what people do with Amiibo all the time anyway. 
You could have a... Scalp them and then jack up the price. Yep. Are they, can I move these? Yeah. Right. Go down the stairs. Down the stairs. And that's our ladder. Give me the ladder. Okay. Wow, Tom. I might. Are we gonna beat the game on the stream? <laughs> I don't know. We're already the level four. There, like nine levels. There's nine levels in the game. This man, the ladder makes this such so easy. Makes it such easy. Such easy. So cheesy. I'm done with you. You know, this is kind of a technically impressive feat right here, how many enemies it's got going at once. And there's no slowdown. No lag, but there is load times. So There's load times, yeah, but... I I, I mean, the NES version... Lag. Did the NES version have lag? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it had some lag in it. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know how the FDS is different in terms of lag. The games I have for the FDS are... Um, Zelda's 1 and 2. I actually enjoyed Zelda 2 quite a bit, though Tom is not a fan. Um, it's too different, man. I have Zelda's 1 and 2, Mario Brothers 2, the uh, actual uh, the Japanese game, the Lost Levels, and I have 3D Hot Rally, which is a unreleased Mario Kart predecessor, I guess you could call it. It's pretty interesting. It's um, weird. There's like this... Now, m m my game seems to have been a little messed up because sometimes it works perfectly, sometimes it doesn't. But from everything I can tell, there there is there appears to be... Um, like... Dinosaur light posts. It's kind of weird. Who's the boss of this area? It's the two-headed dragon guy. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna lose. <laughs> we we just used our two extra keys, so we missed some keys somewhere around here. Well, here's another key. Yeah. Cool. But I guess you're right. Hmm. That's ow. That's interesting. Oh boy. I'm really bad at this boss too. Like this is I might die in this room actually. Just get it over with quicker. I'm really I'm really terrible at this boss. I think it's um to me one of the harder bosses in the game. Doesn't I don't feel like there's as much of a strategy to him as there is some other Oh, I could have just no, you had to kill the enemies before you could push the block. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh. We have to go and start from the beginning of the dungeon. <sighs> no. No starting right next to the boss for you, Michael. Yeah. I mean, this game this game is is much harder than the new Zeldas, I guess, right? Uh, I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that? No. You don't think this is harder than Skyward Sword? <sighs> Skyward Sword. Um, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I think this game is pretty challenging. I, I think in comparison to... Not, like, in comparison to Zelda 2, this isn't anything. Zelda 2 is, is really much harder. In every aspect. Yeah. That game is is brutal and I and I feel <laughs> I feel happy every time I'm able to get through the first d dungeon so, of it. So happy. It, it's 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 a tough game, but we're getting rubies back. We're going to need to upgrade some equipment again here. Now, that's one of the most challenging parts about this dungeon, in my opinion, is the uh, is these guys because they they don't drop anything. Yeah. So you're stuck in this room with all these enemies, and 
They won't drop a thing for you. And every hit counts now. Man. Okay, at least I don't have to do the boss. There we go. You know, go down for a second, Michael. Go down to that screen. Okay. Um, the wall on the right. Whoa! Secret area? I think so. If I remember right. What? Oh, Ruby's. Whoa! Okay, and I think he can bomb the wall to the right. Yeah. Wow. Can try and push that block, but yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Hmm. How am I gonna work this? I don't know, Michael. How are you gonna work it? <laughs> Dead silent space. Okay, I'm just trying to concentrate. I need my concentration. There's, is there any strategy to taking this guy on? Well, I don't know. I think the big shield can block his little... <sighs> let me give it a All shot. Alright, give it a shot. Let me, let me go over to video land real quick. Hey, is, is there someone else watching? Hmm. Well, hello there. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Alright, as you said that, you probably like Yeah, probably. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, Tom is much better at this game than I am. Oh, so, I don't... Okay. Yeah. hopefully he can um, show us the way. You've beaten this game, but you haven't beaten the second quest, right? No, I haven't beaten the second quest. The second quest is is crazy and nothing I would ever enjoy. That's like at that point it's it's just a little bit a little bit too much. Like I can tolerate this game and if I put my mind to it, I, I could probably get through it cuz I'm not awful at games by any means. But I just can't help but think how much easier this would be, Tom, if you would have just turned on the lights. I'm too cool for that. Uh, regardless, uh, I could probably beat it if I set my mind to it, but um, the second quest is not something that I would want to indulge in. I really actually don't like uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, the Lost Levels, that much. I I like I own it, but um, and I have beaten it. Um, all stars before, which is infinitely better because that saves. Wow! I never did that. You but. never did that. <laughs> but um, the game is brutal, especially on the Famicom Disk System. Like, um, you know, you might think people are exaggerating when they say it's like really tough, but it is. It is really tough. Especially when you get to World 8, which I mean makes sense because that's the later levels, but um, there's like, they had this wind mechanic to one of the levels and you have to use that to sort of hover. It's pretty creative, but the game, the game almost feels like a, a ROM hack that was sort of poorly balanced. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it, it does, it's not that, that fun because graphically speaking, it's nearly identical to the original Mario Brothers. I mean, they, they like... I mean, graphical capability-wise, like, some of the visuals are, are slightly different, but not in a way that's, like, I feel like the original game couldn't have pulled off at the time. It was just more like an artistic choice than a, um, uh, matter of capability. It's still a good, it's still a Mario game, though. Like, it... It's not awful. 
but it's definitely no Mario Brothers 3. And I would say that it isn't even a Mario Brothers uh, 2 US Doki Doki Panic Mario USA thing. Like, it's not even uh, that good. Which I actually like Mario 2 quite a bit. What do you think of Mario 2, Tom? Which Mario 2 is better? I don't know. I grew up with the uh, uh, US Mario 2, so I'm, I'm kind of... I'm sorry, I'm concentrating. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh. oh, no. It's hard to do without full health. Well, why don't you go get some health then? Okay, I will. Does this make the boss respawn, though? The mini boss? I don't think so. And loading. And loaded. Alright. No, I will say that I can't be that bad at this game because I was able to beat it as Green Link, like up to the sixth dungeon. Yeah. So, I could be much worse. But I'm still not great. Here, after we beat this dungeon, I think we're going to take a break and maybe be back later. Possibly. Be back later. We're never again. <laughs> <laughs> Tom thinks he's really funny right now. As a reference to our last stream, which uh, was an unmitigated disaster in every single way. If you want to see something that was just terrible and cringeworthy, more so than this, um, you can you can indulge yourself in that. But it, it's uh, we were playing a bootleg of. Pokemon Yellow that was released on the Famicom. It's a pretty interesting game. Not very streamable because of its difficulty, for one thing. Yeah. And uh, just the disappointment of trying to catch Lugia and failing constantly. <laughs> I mean, there, there was a few problems there. Yeah. Wrong design. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I had to check the thing to make sure that it was it was quiet. Like one thing we realized as we were watching the archive of the last stream is that the, at the beginning the Twitch volume was on and I'm just how awful would it have been if I would have left it on through the entire thing like 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 it, we, we we felt really terrible what about E3 Tom? oh I can't wait I just can't wait for E3. <laughs> I I should be a parody artist. I'd I'd be so great. At it. I'm just gonna leave you to to try and dig your way out of that one. <laughs> oh. The, uh, yeah, the thing that will be most interesting is probably the new Zelda game, which is definitely going to be at E3. Yeah, it like, should be at least, unless it gets held back again. There's, they've, they're they're going to show it regardless. You know, we're probably going to get a name. It's going to probably be called something like The Legend of Zelda. Free to go anywhere you want to go. So, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you hurt me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you say... Why do you say things? Uh. <laughs> oh, crap. No! Oh, I, I'm still at full health. Okay. Oh, uh, Tom. Tom, why? Cause what was that again? Legend of Zelda free to go where you want to go, so... Yeah, go. here you go. <laughs> Sometimes I know. I love it. Um, you obviously don't bow. It's it would be something like um, Skyward. No, like yeah, it's it's gonna be something similar. Like, so what? They always have they reference something in the game, right? Yeah. So, so what? Like, I think you're on the right track in the sense of describing the gameplay, but that's maybe a little too obvious. Yeah. Um. 
We don't know. What would it, what would it be called? I mean, Those just looking at the footage, what would you call the game? The arrows are weird. I don't know. Legend of Zelda, the arrows are weird. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. In another time, maybe? I don't know. It seems a bit more futuristic than mm. other Zelda games. Legend of Zelda to the future. Back to the future. Back to the future. Alright, well, now you can just go up to him and, sp and spam him. No, what are you trying to do? Tom? Uh, Tom? Uh, Tom! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Tom! No, you're hurting me, Tom. <laughs> Why? Uh, oh! Uh, what? I can't. I don't know. There oh, you go. Thank God. See, see. It does see bad. what? It does. That was awful. <laughs> I still won, so. Hmm. <laughs> it's a lot better than you could do. Uh, yeah. All right. Whatever. <laughs> you did have full health going into that. After I did all the work clearing out the dungeon, the mini yeah. bosses and whatnot. All right, guys. Well, um, we'll be back in. Maybe an hour. Or maybe not in an hour. Stop. <laughs> we'll, we'll continue. So, um, we'll see you guys then. Uh, thanks for watching so far.